Happy almost New Year's everybody! Now in these final days of December, it's been really popular on the internet to take a giant shit all over 2016. But I would like to point out that 2016 has been pretty great. First of all, I got to publish Buffering, the book of my dreams. We had our first female presidential nominee. That was great. Drake and Rihanna got back together for a minute. Now he's with JLo. I'm, I'm not hating. That's still cool. I can't wait for those breakup albums. And the final gift that 2016 has bestowed upon us is a recipe that allows for adult indulgence in the best possible way. Yes, I am talking about the combination of hot chocolate and red wine? What? No longer do we have to go through laborious tasks like this one. I have chocolate in this hand. Oh, oh but I also want wine. Oh, it's in this hand. Oh. oh my god, this is taking so long! No, in fact, the latest and greatest food cooking craze actually just combines red wine with hot chocolate. How do you make it? Well, here you go! First you take a saucepan and you put it on a hot thing. Then you're going to be adding your flavored chocolate powder of choice. I'm using this one because I love the shiny packaging. After that, I'm going to be using some lactose free milk, not only because it's easier on the tummy, but also lactose free milk is always sweeter than regular milk because when you separate the lactose enzyme, it turns into sugar. So this adds an extra touch of sweetness to what might possibly be a very bitter chocolatey drink. Next, add your chocolate powder, mix it up. I like to add a couple chunks of chocolate for some extra chocolatey goodness, and then pour it into your tastefully branded buffering mug, available now at dftba.com slash Hannah. Wow, what exceptional narration, cooking chef Hannah. Oh, and look, here it is. Mmm, what velvety sweetness, light but rich. Wow, I sound like an actual like person that says things about food. 2017 guys, it's gonna get really real. Mm. I think I've had about half a cup of just pure delicious cocoa, so it's about time we add the red wine. Oh. I don't wanna add too much, so I'm trying to like drink it down a little bit, you know? Mmm. Okay, here we go. Whoa, oopsie, spilling wine all over the floor. It looks a little bit like that one time I made stew, which, you know, we don't talk about. Cheers to you, 2016. You gave us a little that then took a lot of things we really loved. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh no! Mm. Oh wow, you guys. This is really, really good. Like, I don't know if it's like idiot proof and so I didn't mess it up, but this tastes amazing. I recommend you follow that exact recipe I did. The wine I used was Seven Deadly Zins. The milk I used was, as you saw, lactate, and the cup I used was this gorgeous beast. Whew, this is so good, I'm starting to sweat. Mmm, I taste kind of like, almost like a rose. Like if, if a rose was a drink, I don't mean like rose flavored, rose scented. The concept of a dark, deep red rose, if that was a drink, it would be this drink. Mmm, wow. We really rose above it. Well done, 2016. You didn't fuck this one up. Mwah. Happy New Year, guys. I hope that you enjoy making this recipe. If you do, tag me, tweet me, insta me. You know how it goes. Click like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, mwah. have a great day. See you next year.